What up, everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. And now it is time to talk about the marbles. Because a few of you who are astute viewers of mine might go, hmm, he said that the Trident was his second favorite and that the Hydra was his, like, he didn't really like it that much. Well, he didn't like it as much as the Trident, which would put it at third place. So why did he put the marbles first if on his stream he openly criticized this thing pretty hard? And that is true. I looked at the marbles when they first revealed it, and I thought, that's kind of a stupid idea, because, like, how's the logistics of the marbles going to work? Like, what if you want to take out weight? Does that mean you're going to have marbles rattling around? And how do you do this? And how do you do that? And now all those questions have been answered. And this thing, I think, is my favorite of the three. For multiple reasons. For one, this profile that Ty has it on is a little too handle biased for me, but you can make it much lighter. Now, I haven't messed around with the marbles yet, and if I do extensively get to mess around with the marbles or even want to, then I will make a follow-up video talking about just adjustable ballast songs in general. Because for the second reason, this is... I see this like the cycloid. It's like a metal cycloid, and that is so cool because you can do an infinite amount of things with it. I need to remember where Ty put the adjustment balls for this but he showed me and it answered a lot of my questions okay because the thing oh he has three Nabelli's cases maybe it's I don't know maybe they're there they are because there's so many more balls that you have to work with don't take that out of context than I thought you've got these rubber ones which are slightly bigger than the channel which serve as stoppers which already answers my oh you're gonna have like they're going to be rattling around in there. You can put these stoppers in and then only put a few of the balls in there. But then you also have plastic to serve as more like spacers. You have like brass or something. And then I think these are... I have no idea. I don't know what they're all made of. <laughs> I'm sure you can find that information out somewhere. But you have like rubber stoppers and then light, medium, and heavy. And you can customize these however you want. And that is just so cool to me. I previously said that the cycloid was super cool because of that same reason. And now we can implement that into a metal trainer. A metal trainer that you can change the balance however you want on that. And that's why this is my favorite. Because while this profile that he has, that Ty has set up, is just a little too wobbly and weird for me, I'm pretty confident that I could, with that level of a customization, I could dial in something that I like with the marbles. Now, balance aside, why else do I like the marbles more than the others? Um, for everything else about it. The balls serve as, like, jimping of some sort, as well as the jimping itself being really good. The overall finish is really good. It feels like a nice little, like, polish on it. Not too bad. And this surface texturing is surprisingly high-quality feeling. I really like it. It just feels leagues better than the other two, with the G10 and the Hydra. Because it's big enough where it's actually noticeable and provides a good amount of grip. But it doesn't, it's not like sharp, it doesn't ruin the feel of anything. And also the trainer blade I think is my favorite yet. Although the bottle opener is still very sharp. Now I do have a few complaints about this thing. Even if I haven't messed with the balls yet, you can already hear it. It's like, it's like jittery. And as someone who hates, like clanky jittery ballast songs which is why i try to lube mine as much as possible i hate that kind of clank sound so this just like hearing the balls rattle around it's just kind of weird and i just like really don't like it <laughs> but also to do with the balls the adjustment is kind of is screwing which like okay this is a nitpick i will say that without hesitation because I'm used to the cycloid. The cycloid with being toolless, just pull it out, adjust it, put it back in, no tools required, is such a cool idea. I don't know how you could possibly implement that into metal. I mean, maybe they just use like the rubber balls. They do that, but with these spacers and you just pull them out. That would be super cool. But like just the idea that I have to carry around what looks like a T6 screwdriver just to adjust the balance is kind of annoying. Um, and when you combine that with the 
with like the balls clanking around, which maybe you can fix with the rubber ones. You can put a stopper in there and make it so that everything's kind of like locked together. Ty also said he thinks it's because he's using a lot of the plastic ones that are rattling around, whereas the metal ones don't really do that. And I can feel it. The plastic ones roll when I do this and the metal ones don't. So that could definitely be a part of it. But even with those complaints, this is still super cool. I don't think I would ever get one because it's just not really what I'm looking for. But maybe, I mean, experimenting with a metal trainer the same way that I can experiment with my cycloid is a very, very interesting and alluring idea. And one designed this well, it's like, yeah. I think this one is easily my favorite of the Nabali's bunch that they have recently come out with. Because it's just like, what a cool idea. Especially since I was openly critical on my live stream of the idea. Because it just seemed... It seemed like they hadn't thought it through, but in reality, they absolutely did. And while I can't comment on the usability of some of the other weights or the rubber stoppers or any of that, I can definitely comment on the usability of the Balasong itself, and it's very usable. I really enjoy it, and that's why I put it into its own video, because while the Trident and the Hydra are cool, I didn't really have much to say about them. One has G one has G10, the other one's a little bit too handle bias. It's like, yeah, they're both cool. They're both great. They both deserve coverage. But I wasn't as excited about them as I was this. So throw it into its own video. You guys get more content. I get more backlog to put in. Great. Everybody wins. Including the Bally's. Good job, the Bally's. I don't really I, I wish I looked up the prices before I did these videos. Because I don't remember what the prices were. But I think this one... This is either the most expensive one, or it's right in the middle. Or it's the cheapest. That's actually, like... That's a great question. Let's figure it out right now. Because I'm sure this video isn't long enough already. Let's look up what price these are all at. Because I'll, I'll do this as, like, a roundup of the three Nabali things that they came out with. Um, how do I get to your product list, Nabalis? All products. <sighs> All products. This is the cheapest one of the bunch. Oh my gosh. See, that's crazy to me. So the Hydra is even more expensive than I thought it was at 110 the trident's way more expensive than i thought it was at 120 and this is 75. i think this is easily the coolest one out of the three with the adjustments that you can do and i also just like the fit and finish of it a little bit better the trident i think flips the best but that's only because i can't adjust i haven't tried to adjust the the weights and the marbles yet but Okay, this this price breakdown makes me even more interested in the marbles, quite honestly. This thing's awesome. For 75 bucks. The other two aren't bad. 140 might be a bit high for the Trident, but it flips well. Like I can so I can justify that price. Same with the the Hydra, the Hydra 110, I can justify that price. It does make it a little less comparable. I think the Orion does beat both of those, to be honest. I thought these were about the same price as the Orion. I like the Orion a bit better than both of those. But, dude, the marbles for 75 this is the thing to keep an eye on, I think. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, with that shocking revelation out of the way, thank you all for watching. Um... Yeah, I don't think this concludes... Oh, no, this definitely doesn't conclude the marathon yet. So I will see you all in the next one. Later.